everybody, Josh Jr. here. This is something that's new and entertaining. I am at my place of employment, and normally I wouldn't be showing this, but I will let this, let this out. We have a gas leak. This construction crew out here, which they're putting in, widening the road here and putting in drain pipe and stuff, they hit a gas line. So now we've got some excitement here with the gas, with uh, the fire truck showing up. Pretty soon the gas company will be here. Uh, they've got the road blocked off. We don't smell gas. We haven't been asked to evacuate yet. So things are quite interesting. The only thing that they can do is basically set up a perimeter, keep uh, people away from it. And the gas line itself, as you see, I hate zooming in with this, but we'll do it. That post is basically right at the base of it. Now, the firefighters are out here with sensors. Sorry, I can't get a better perspective. I'm staying up here on my uh, uh, entryway to my office. And there's a guy there with Northwest Natural Gas. Be right back with the, anything in particular develops. No smell whatsoever. Yep. No, we're doing good. Yeah, the only time I smelled it was shortly after they hit it. You could smell it on this porch, and then a breeze picked up and, and got it out of there. So. exterior of any of those properties over here. Uh, we're in the uh, associates building right now and zero percent here as well. Yeah, so I, I'm going to recommend for now, there's not a very, there's a real small concentration of it out there. Understood. And so um, 
I would recommend that you folks can just kind of stay uh, protect in place here. Uh, we're just making sure that um, there's no odor or problem inside your dwelling. If you do evacuate, uh, or if we decide that we need to go that route, we'll send you north, okay. uh, upwind. So there you go, you heard the update from the fire captain himself. Really nothing spectacular, and it is the feeder line that they uh, hit going to this building. So they're just getting the precautions set up. We're gonna wait for the gas line to give you shut off. Uh, Northwest Natural Gas Trucks are here on site. In addition, yesterday the construction crew hit the cable that was just ran on this building. So, always something. I don't think I'll have anything else of really exciting to update. Uh, Talk to you guys when is basically when this is wrapped up. Well, as you can tell, I'm sitting in my car. Uh, we were evacuated from the office today, so that's exciting. So now I'm sitting here at Bush Pasture Park, kind of relaxing, going to see what's going on. I can't leave Salem until uh, about 4 or 4.15 because I have a commitment to do for a friend of mine at 4.30. So I'm basically stuck here. Um, so I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the rest of the day. I'll give you an update when we're done, but I wish I could have showed uh, some of the comments from the fire um, firefighter who came in and told us to get out. And it was basically that uh, urgent. And when we stepped out of the office, the smell of gas was very strong. So, hey. Gas leak and evacuations. A way to screw up a day. Talk to you soon. Well, everybody, since I am officially evacuated from my office, I thought I would come down here to the Deepwood Historic Estate and do kind of walk around a little bit and show you. So I'm gonna got a lot more in the background here, which of course that's how it happens for me. So I'm just going to show, walk around here and show you some of the pretty things here at the, actually they call it the Deepwood Museum Gardens. Here, let me show you what's going on with this.
while I am back at the office, it's going to be hard for you to hear me because there's a saw cutter going on right there. But what the deal is, they've got to cut out the asphalt to get to the line to replace it because it was literally yanked out of the main. The evacuation is over. And uh, so now it's just repair work. This road is scheduled to be closed until 3 p.m. And it might be a little bit longer than that. I walked down here just because I couldn't get in here. So I wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So there you go. There's an update for you. What a mess is the only thing I can say is what a true mess. be done it tonight or when so but that's okay I'm not I can't sit here and dwell over it and figure out what's going on it's not affecting the company I work for whatsoever other than right now that's our entrance and I'll have to talk to somebody here tonight about uh, making sure that that's not blocked tomorrow for everybody So we shall see how things go. There you go, everybody. It's quitting time for me. 
Time to head to the home front, check to see what's been going on. They're not done yet though, and who knows if they're going to be done tomorrow. So, for now, we'll see how things go. There you go everybody, this day is done. What a pain in the butt that was. Hopefully, it will all get straightened out by tonight and we'll be back to normal operations tomorrow. So for now, remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, dealing with broken gas lines and evacuations. This is the Adventures of Josh Jr., everybody. Have a good one. See ya.